Hello Floss Tube. Uh, this is Elizabeth Martinez, Fanta Stitches, uh, coming at you with, hold on one second, let me fix this a little bit. All right. Let me get closer. <laughs> Uh, with my floss tube number 264. Um, this is my channel about cross stitch. Uh, for those of you who may be wondering what you may have stumbled upon. Um, today is Saturday, January 7th, um, 2023. And this is my, this is my first floss tube of the year. Um, I did one on the 31st, uh, highlighting some of the things I hope to do in 2023. <laughs> this space back here is blank because, see, that's one of those um, 3M hanger things, you know, stick on hangers that are, you know, come off the wall, supposedly, with do no harm kind of thing. And that, it, it came off. The little hook thing came off of the sticky part. So. <laughs> There's nothing there right now. Anyway, uh, sorry, I just got distracted by that little thing. Um, so I had uh, I posted uh, last week a, uh, a whip parade for all of the stuff that's on my Whipco board and and I guess and uh, some other stuff. But I but anyway, I, I had set aside all my whips and I had, you know made this list and everything else. And then as I was typing up my, uh, my description notes, uh, box, the notes, bleh, notes for the description box, um, as I was doing that, I realized I, I left at least one of my whips off there, um, because, um, I had talked about, I had shown, um, Parade of Elephants and another one, uh, the Elephant Biscornu, those are both new starts, uh, on my uh, last year on my whip go board and then I realized wait a minute where's the blue elephant because I remember talking to, uh, on here about this blue elephant because it only has three legs in the chart you know and I debated whether or not to add another leg or whatever and I realized that's not that's not amongst these whips that I showed and I looked and it was indeed on my whip go board so um so I, I was like, well, I think I know where it is. And I looked and it wasn't there among those things. And so I thought, I have this other bin that has um, a, a lot of patterns that I have not started yet. And, uh, and some patterns that are partially kitted up. I, they have like fabric in them. I have the pattern and the fabric and I just haven't put threads and started them. Um, so actually that that little i have a tote bag with those separate things in them that's going to be part of my new starts because one of the things i a slot i left on my on my whipco board for each month i put uh for each call i should say for each month i had put just a, a blank space with the new start on it so um so every 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 time those two numbers are called for each month, um, I'm going to do a new start, you know, and um, along with an FFO and a, and a whip. So, uh, so in this bin, like I said, I have, uh, you know, so several uh, new start possibilities, but I also have some other things in there. So I thought, well, maybe they're in there. Maybe it's in there. And I found another tote bag that had a bunch of whips in it. it. had like, I don't know, four or five whips in it. So you get to see those today too. And speaking of whips, I wanted to thank uh, Jessie Lee of Jessie Lee TV, is her floss tube channel, and, um, for giving me a shout out for my my whip parade. She, she watched my whip parade and made some nice comments. But then on her uh, video that she did that, I saw today, I think she did it today, or she did it either yesterday or today, and I watched it this morning, and she uh, gave me a shout out uh, for my whip parade that she, you know, she she told her viewers, hey, you know, go check it out. So thank you very much, Jessely, and, um, and I have even more for you to look at. <laughs> 
Um, so I did on New Year's Day, I did a new, uh, new year, new start. And this is one that I've been, uh, that I wanted to start this month anyway. And I just made a little tiny start on it. Um, but it's called, uh, this is a leisure arts kit called Spicy Disaster. I'm not a hot mess. I'm a spicy disaster. It has, you know, sunflowers. It's got some chili peppers. It's got this wild-eyed cat. And uh, oh, there's a bee up there. And some things like that. So, yeah, I started that. And I promptly made a mistake, so I, you know, that's why it, there's not more of it started. But ha I started with these little flowers. And this is just my, I, I marked it actually, the, the, I did a corner start, but the, but there's like the, the you know, the closest thing to the corner is this, uh, I started in this corner here, and this, it's this back stitching, and I didn't want to start with that. I want to actually get this B in and then uh, do the back stitching here. So I had to count down from the corner of the design to this flower here. And so that's, that's why I have, I had this, like, I actually had it, uh, I pulled it out, but I had it, you know, like the, I used my needle and just stuck it in, you know, like 10 down from here or something like that to help me count my way down to here, to this. So, <laughs> and actually I, I did fine starting these because, you know, it's not so crucial if I'm off by a, a stitch or two one way or the other because I've got, you know, all this margin. But, um, but I, so I did these two and then I, I did, um, this lighter green of the, of the leaves and I thought they were in the right place, but what, but then I don't know, I think part of it was wrong. One of these is wrong, and and part of it was like these little stems. I don't know if something was wrong in there, so I had to like re redo some stuff there. So, but it's correct now. I just have to do more. But this is spicy disaster, and and it came with this is a kit, and it came with uh, this uh, white ada, and it came with all the threads and everything, and I had not I hadn't you know taken the time to to uh dye this I wanted to dye the eight I didn't I, I I didn't want it to be white um but it's not bad in white because because the design is so colorful and I hadn't you know I wanted to start this but I hadn't decided you know uh, uh, and I hadn't taken the time because of Christmas and everything else of uh dyeing this fabric so it was just in the kit and it was, you know, it was like, you know, stiff Ada, 14 count Ada that came with the kit that, and it, you know, and I don't have anything against that, but I had wanted to kind of dye it. I, I have a thing about, I don't, I don't want to stitch on white anymore, but it looks like I don't want to put white sheets on my bed. I, you know, that was something colorful. But anyway, so, but I had this fabric in my stash that I wasn't using for anything. And it's just Carolina linen, DMC 28 count Carolina linen. And it, I think it looks good. And actually, there's some stuff on this uh, chart, like this, the wings on this B here are done in white. And there's, I think, some other stuff. The cat's eyes, you know, the outside of, her, of the cat's eyes are in white. And some things like that. And I thought, you know, um, it'll show up a little better uh, on the white on this. You know, I, it won't be so dependent on the, on the backstitching. Um, show, it'll show up a little better on this uh, Carolina linen because it's, you know, it's off-white. It's like a ecru kind of color. Um, and I think that all the other colors in this pattern um, are, you know, they'll, they'll show up fine. They'll uh, show up just as well, just as easily better, I think. And the other thing is, is that in this design... Um, like in the S of spicy, some of those are like, you know, uh, like a quarter stitch or whatever. And they're much easier on 28 count fabric than on Ada, because in the Ada, you'd have to split the, the little square. And in, and in uh, this, you know, this kind of two over two uh, business, you wouldn't have to do that. So, so I, that's a big plus.
So that's uh, Spicy Disaster by Leech Arts. Um, and I don't know if I know the individual designer for that. If I do, I, I don't have it right in front of me. And the other thing I had was a finish. Last week I had talked about how I wanted, I was hoping that this would be my last finish of 2022, but it was not. I missed it by just, you know, <laughs> a little while because it's a lot more stitching than it looks like. Even, you know, um, it's not very big. It's 62 by 41 or some 43 or something like that. Um, 62 by 45. And it doesn't seem like it would take that long, but it's, it's pretty dense. There's a lot of stitching in the, in the border and a lot of stitching in the, the little, you know, his hat and the trees and the, and these little snowflakes. It's a lot of stitching. Um, yeah, and then it has a little mistake. See if you can see the mistake. It's right there. It, this O should be over, over one. This is done two, two, I think. Yeah, two over one on Hardinger. Uh, so, you little. Um, and this is by uh, Mindy Burchell of Luminous Fiber Arts was in her um, her newsletter and she had done it all in red and but I chose that uh, that tealy blue color uh, because I made this for my sister and it's it's uh, she has this little template in the instructions so you can make it into a, like an ornament shape and I I don't know if I'm going to do that or not um, um, the template I think she made uh, sized for 32 or 16 count fabric and I did it on 22 so it's a little bit your know, different size and so uh, I you know she has like finishing instructions uh, for this or ornament shape um, in one of her other designs I think or something like that on her yeah on her YouTube channel she had done a like a what do you call it tutorial uh, on how to to, to use that shape to uh make a an ornament out of it but um i don't know i'm gonna do something different see what i have see what i can use you know to to make an ornament out of it i think so so that's frosty so it did not it was not my last finish of 2022 but it was my first finish of 2023 i finished it on the second i think the second of january that's Frosty by Luminous Fiber Arts. And then I went on to start on my one of my uh, Whipgos. And this is uh, my number six. Uh, Whipgo uh, was pulled for January. And that mm -hmm, it's the second. Sleepy Hollow by uh, Tiny Modernist. And I'm doing this uh, second section right here. And I'm doing them as drums. And I haven't done... You know, the, each drum has a different uh, top on it, and I have not done the, any of those yet. I, I finished this number one, but I have, did not do the top for it. And I, I'm working on this number two. And I thought I had finished the border, but I had I, I just now realized, to just today, realized that I had not finished the border uh, completely. And um, I had done the border, part of the border, <laughs> not all of it and these words and like this little spider but not like the the back stitching involved with the spider i haven't done yet yet and um i guess that's a key hmm. i was wondering what that what that little shape was because i haven't stitched that yet yeah but anyway um so in here, the, like I said, the words were finished and I had done one of the two shades of green. I had done all, you know, all the way across here, I think. But I realized as I was stitching it, when I got to these little skeletons over here, I realized that I had uh, put the gaps that are in the grass, the gaps for their, you know, bony feet and bony legs. I had put them in the wrong place. And the, and the gap for this pumpkin, I think it might be also in the wrong place. And um, let me show you. 
um, what I'm talking about as I'm talking about all this stuff. So this is the second part of the Sleepy Hollow strip. And see, I thought I had finished the border, but I was, I was like folding it to, to put it, to show you, I realized, uh, yeah, I did not finish the border. There's a few of those little medallion things to go. And so I had stitched the, the, like I said, one color of the green all the way across here, but I made a mistake. And part of it is that uh, the there's three pages for each of these sections. And so the first page ends like right about here. And so uh, most of this pumpkin is on the first page, but part of it is on the second page. And I think when I you know, was doing them together, I, I miscounted because of the overlap, you know, and then the, the beginning of edge of the, of the second page is grayed out so that you don't, you know, so that you know where it overlaps, but somehow I think I miscounted that. And so when it came to doing the little skeletons, uh, the, the gaps there were in the wrong place. And so I just simply stitched the um i did the i'm doing the skeletons i did i'm working on them doing them in etoile um just to make them sparklier and uh so i just like because this gap right here this gap is supposed to be for his legs bones but it's in the wrong place obviously it's off by three or four so i just you know stitched over the green that was there to to make his his uh, foot leg bones see and because right here is where see this uh, this little line of green is supposed to be right up against the pun the pumpkin here so I made that it's so from here on all the way to the end it's all wrong <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm fortunately I think. The, the etoile covers it very nicely. You can't really tell um, that it's covered over it. And when I put the other green color in, I can, you know, fix all these the holes that are in the wrong place. And um, the only thing I was concerned about was there's another pumpkin that goes over here. And then the roots of this uh, <clears throat> big tree. And, the, and there's... Um, some more tombstones, <clears throat> things like that. So I'm going to have to be fudging and fixing all the way. And so today is the last of the six days for this design. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to do some more stitching uh, tonight, but, um, and see how far I can go. So I to fix those things so that when I put it away, I will have, you know, fixed some of those mistakes for, next time I work on it, whenever that may be. So that's Sleepy Hollow. Oh, but I was going to say, I, um, all of this, uh, white stitching, I'm stitching in a toile, so it's a little sparkly, so I have sparkly dancing skeletons. And I, right now, I want to finish this skeleton because, um, he, his, where his feet are, it, uh, determines where the, there's another, you know, the next pumpkin goes and that'll help me put the tree in place so i want to finish those things um, along this bottom part just so that i know where i need to to adjust it or whatever whatever i need to do so yeah and then i need <laughs> need to finish this border so i have a lot to do and there's like i said there's something there's a key or something that goes down here in this little gap right here um, that it, it's it you know it's in purple so I can't really tell like on the pattern I can't I couldn't tell what it's supposed to be but you know it'll be a surprise when I get it stitched in there um, so that's that so after today I will have finished the six days on the uh, sleepy hollow and then my next my uh, other call for Whipco was number 10 for January. And that's, I'm doing um, several of my rabbit rabbit um, patterns. So um, part one, I think I've talked about this before. Part one, I, I um, am gonna do April, May, 
June, and July. Because January is already done, February is already done, March is already done. So this is April, May, June, and July. So I'm I'm hoping to get um, just get a little further. I don't know um, that any of them are close to being finished. Maybe June, yeah. Um, and so uh, you know I'm hoping to to at least maybe I'll finish June. I don't know um, because these are you know April. This is April. And I only have one little loan bunny started on there. And I think I showed all these before. May. So I'm going to try to do a little bit because there's, I think, four of them, four patterns. And I have six days. So I'm going to try to get these that are just barely started, get them a little further along. Um, see how much I can do in the, in the six days. This one I might be able to finish this is June and I'm about maybe a quarter of the way done but um, you know I only worked on this a few days in, in, in June so maybe I'll be able to finish it it's a little bit further along than the others um, and then uh, July I barely got like part of one bunny and part of the corner done and that's you know, this little corner, this little bit, there's a part of a bunny, <laughs> back end of a bunny there. Um, so it remains, you know, like I said, I, I hopefully I can get um, a little bit more done on those, those partially done ones. I think what I'll do is uh, for the first four of those six days, um, I will work one day on each one and then the last two days that are left I can you know see which one needs a little more attention um, to get closer to, to finishing so that's my number 10 uh, uh, is the rabbit rabbits so that'll be coming up after today and then um, the other Whipco uh, calls that I had were to FFO right I have one more new start that I can plug in and then um, uh, I had the two uh, FFOs right I, I think I talked about this last time the uh, elephant uh, I'm calling it right now the safari elephant um, I can't remember I don't I have to go and back in my pile of uh, finished pattern uh, patterns and find the actual real name of it. But I think it's just called Elephant. It's from this safari animal uh, booklet that I have. Excuse me. Dying of thirst. Ow, oh, sometimes it feels good to just get all that soda in your tissues. It's Diet Pepsi, by the way. Anyway, so. So I had that Safari Elephant is one of them, and the Meow, meow Midnight Meow is um, the other one. Those are my two uh, Whipco calls for this month, my two FFOs. So um, the, the number six was the Safari Elephant, right? Yes. So that's, that's this one here. And my original... Uh, the first idea I had for it was uh, to to put it in a, a frame. It's on white Ada. Uh, it's probably 16 or 18 count. It's smaller than 14. So I don't know. It's I think 16 count. So you know, it's about it's about eight by ten, and uh, or eight by nine or thereabouts. So it would. Theoretically, it would go in a, uh, like, you know, 8 by 10 frame or something like that. But um, what I want to do is, you know, I want to, it's it's almost square. It's almost like 8.5 by 8.5 or something, you know. And so the other day at Walmart, I found this little board. And I think, depending on what fabric I put behind, uh, you know, like, 
around the outside of it, I can I could put it on like on you know sticky board or foam board or something like that, um, and then put another piece behind it, and then uh, stick it to this. Uh, uh, this is kind of like a whitewashed, uh, almost unfinished wood. It's a little rough and you know scratchy, <laughs> so I might uh, just go over it with a piece of sandpaper just just to soften it and smooth it. Because it almost feels like you get splinter from it, you know. Um, but it has a little jute hanger thing. So it will hang very nicely. It's a little more interesting than just a, you know, just a regular frame. But so I think if I find the right, like, uh, framing fabric, if you will, to go around it, it'll look very nice. I can take it almost to the edge of this... Uh, you know, give it a little bit of margin there, but, you know, so that it, uh, you really see the, the picture there. That elephant, just now that I look at it, I really like it. <laughs> so, um, this is, there's got all of this white expanse here. I want to, uh, get something really interesting, uh, fabric or something, you know, uh, around it to set it off a little bit to give it a little more oomph because that that that's one of the reasons why I I am getting away from stitching on white because like you know so the 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 sky basically ends right here you know but if this was like a like a, a very faint blue or something like that you you know it would kind of uh I don't know, it, but see, but this down here is, you know, the ground that kind of fades away. So I, I you know, I don't know. So I'm going to see what, what I've got in terms of uh, fabric or something to put, like I said, to put behind that. And then the other thing, uh, the other uh, item was the Midnight Meow, right? So it's black. It's got these little stars on it and everything, right? And it's, and it's about uh, seven inches across here and maybe four or five or so here right so these are the you know, five cats that are sitting on a fence or whatever at, at, at midnight and so I got this little uh, wooden piece at Hobby Lobby and it has also has a, a little jute hanger thing and um, this is you know unfinished wood whatever and um, uh, so I want to paint this um, because you know it, it it looks okay on here, right? But I I think I want it black to look more like midnight. And so I have a couple of blacks. I have I couldn't decide you know because I, I really couldn't tell what they looked like you know in real life. Um, one is soft black. And the other one, this is, uh, it says lamp or ebony black. Oops. So I'm going to, you know, take a look and see how they, on the back maybe, and see how they, uh, how they look, how they finish, right? And then, um, and then I also bought um, this yellow um, to, and this little uh, stencil. Because on this stencil, there's some, there's a moon <clears throat> that, that I may or may not use, but there's these little stars, right? And if I can put the, those stars, like, around the edges or something like that, and then, um, you know, this design has the little stars on it, has little French knots for stars. It also has a moon already, so I don't need to put the moon on there now that I look at it. <laughs> but I thought, you know, if, if I paint this black and this uh, little cats are black, if I can paint the, then they're on this little fence. And if the fence is black, you know, it'll help it stand out a little more. Just, you know, uh, make a little night scene on my on this board so we shall see 
I'm, I think my I might experiment a little bit on the back of it and see what I uh, decide on on that. And also while I was there, I got this little exacto blade uh, to help with that a lot finishing. And if I decide to use sticky board, if I decide to use the mat board or whatever, that'll help uh, cut that. So that's my. FFO idea, excuse me. We shall see. I'm, I'm, uh, I'll probably be working on it more toward the end of the month just because it would take me a while to think it through and everything. So, like I said, yes, last week I was doing my whip parade and I had realized I'd forgotten some things. And, excuse me, if I dropped something. I don't know. Hmm. But this is a, it's a DMC kit. Um, I think I got a Joann's, this uh, blue elephant. And if you look, there's a random stray thing down here. And I think, I don't know if the person doing it was going to put a fourth leg in there <laughs> because the, the, the pattern does not have anything here. Doesn't have a fourth leg. He only has three legs. And so whoever did this model apparently started to put in a fourth leg or something and and, and uh, didn't do it, didn't finish it. So he has a stray random blue line there. And also has this weird little, this eye, you know, it looks a little cartoonish, eye and eyelashes and all that. And so I think I that was where I ha kind of had a little, oh, I think that's not on the, the uh, chart either. It's completely different on the chart. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so I, I think I, I was thinking about some modifications. What is this? Oh! <laughs> this is something else. I didn't realize it was in here. I've forgotten all about it. Doggone it. <laughs> As the adage goes, when you clean, you find treasures. So let me think, see, let me look at it correctly. Yeah, it goes like this. So I just, you know, this is, this is the kit Ada and I dyed it myself. <laughs> uh, so, um, so this is the elephant's trunk. It's, a, it, it's hard to see. It's easier to see in person uh, than on the camera, but. Yeah, so so uh, on the the chart that came with it, I'm I'm I think I'm charting out. I ha maybe have already done it, or I am in the process of charting out a fourth leg because I don't like the three legged elephant. <laughs> and um, and I may do the the eye that's in the chart. I I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. But yeah, so that's that's as far as I got this. This is the little blanket thing that are, you know, that he's wearing. And this is the elephant's ear here. And this is the blue of the the elephant's head here. Um, so that's that's as far as I got with that. Um, so that's on there. But what I found just now, <laughs> just, just now, um, it was this little mini kit. This little piece of... Uh, little cat and um, goes like this I think this is as far as I got this is I think, wait no it goes like this <laughs> there yeah that's his tail and that's his little chest um, yeah that was <laughs> I started a bunch of things in May as a sort of a, 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 a mania, kind of. Um, I forgot all about that little kitty. Um, but, um, so I don't know if that's what this is from, or if, if I did the, the blue elephant as one of my whip go new starts. I don't know. I don't remember. But, uh, yeah, there it is. So, um... That's the Blue Elephant by, it's a DMC kit. I don't know who the specific 
designer is. And then the other thing I, I talked about um, la uh, last week was um, I had, let me get this out here very carefully. I had my original version of Come Thou Fount, and it was something that I had stitched in 2018. And this is the original one. Uh, the original version of it I had done. And I had made these pretty wide borders in between the, the verses. So it's very long. And this was my very first attempt at designing something this big anyway, by myself. But I borrowed this font for the, for the letters, for the, you know, for the verses. I had borrowed it from another chart that I had. And so uh, a couple of, you know, I had been, had been mentioned to me that, oh, you know, maybe you should try selling that design, but I didn't want to sell it with the, this, this particular uh, font, because like I said, it, it wasn't an original font. I borrowed it from, from another uh, chart that I had. So that was my, like I said, my first uh, version of that that I, I, I completed it in 2018 and took it to Stitch Nanigans um, for the little brag table. But then I, so I finally redid it. So I did a different border and I uh, came up with my own font for the words. And it's the same basic idea, but it's a little bit, you know, elaborated on, a little changed, or whatever. So it's got these little angels blowing trumpets, like, <laughs> for Pam. Uh, pam, pam Schaefer likes these, this kind of angel. Anyway, but um, so I I did these little angels here. Um, so and this part part of this is not really it's it's revised a little bit, but not too much. The water I changed uh, a, a lot, and I think I I changed this part a little bit maybe, and I made this a little different too. So th this is the pattern, and I, I just really um, just got a little bit of a star on it, just the, the top part of the fountain, I mean the water. So it's a lot of fabric. But and that, and this is a 20 count, 28 count even weave, I think, that, uh, this, that I had dyed myself. So this is a little bit lighter color. I think I had not dyed this. This, this one, I think, is... Um, it might be Belfast linen or something um, that uh, is just the it came this 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 color but so I had dyed this uh, it's kind of a rosy rosy beige color um, that I had dyed myself so yeah that's come thou fount of every blessing it's the it's the the hymn uh, the old hymn so anyway, so that is, I don't know, I'll find some time to work on it, I don't know. I don't know if that is on my Whipco, I don't think it's on my Whipco, Ooh, I hope I didn't catch something in the zipper that time. I don't think it's in my, uh, on my Whipco list uh, for this, this year. It's not, I think it's just extra. <laughs> but um, but then also, these. so these things are not on the Whipco list. These are just, like I said, they were random new starts that I found um, that are partially finished. So this is Sheepish Manor. And I can't remember now. This might be, hold on a second, see if I can... I can see who the designer is. I know it. Yeah, this is Chessie and me. Yeah. Um, so this is the only picture I have. This is also came as a kit from uh, uh, that I bought at the attic. Um, but it's Chessie and me. And I'm stitching it. What am I stitching it on? The kit fabric. So, 
I think I'm stitching one over two on this little tiny piece of fabric. I don't remember what this fabric is. But I just got the, the house started there. The manor. Yeah. But it came with, uh, I think, with uh, silk threads that were in the kit. I just love this color palette. This These blues and greens and whatever. There's a, the blue that's in the house. I, I used it, but uh, greens and blacks and whites. Yeah. And the blue, yeah, is in here. This blue of the house. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's Sheepish Manor. Chessie and me. There's a little, that's just a little house. Yeah. So, there's that. <laughs> I had forgotten. Ah! Oh, that stuff. And then this one is a kit. I think I got it. I found it at Joanne's or Hobby Lobby. This is the Dimensions kit. Owl Trio. Um, and I don't know if it has the designer in here. Jennifer Nielsen. Jennifer Nielsen. And just I just have a, got a little bit of a start on it. This is the came with the kit Ada. And it, I just got the I think it goes like this. These eyes in the middle. Yeah. The little white, you know, owl eyes of this little owl. So there's that. Yeah, it came with all the threads. And there's, there's that. Hold on one second. I just want to set this aside. I don't want to lose it. And again, I forget that I have it. Oh, yeah, there it goes. I'll leave that in there. The rest of the time. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> okay. And then the last one that I found in that mystery tote bag, when I found the elephant, was um, this one. I'm going to leave the threads in there. I don't want to lose them. Um, called Mother. And this was by. Um, and I've seen a few more of her uh, her designs. Um, I found this at the, at the attic. My New York Dreamer is the is her company. Azia Gladstone is the designer. So this one oh, was, is problem problematic for me because there's this flower here, which looks like a like a like a silk flower kind of thing that you can buy and. Uh, just still in place this or, or or it's a button I can't tell quite whether it's a whether it's like a fabric uh, rose or if it's a button and I don't know what this is here I don't know because the pattern does are in and instructions or anything don't say and there's no uh, indicator on here and I think it goes like this. But see these um, these two stems that don't have anything on them. This one here, and I think it's this one here. It's where those flowers go, right? And there's nothing on the like I said, there's nothing on the pattern that indicates. Um, there's a there's a saying on there, right? Um, Hold on, let's see. Hold on one minute. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> There's little words here, hope, 
uh, hope, give, tears, smile, love, you know, yeah. Um, but like I said, this, these two flowers and this little medallion here, I, I don't know what, what, if they're buttons or whatever, like I said, there's no, no indication, no explanation. Um, yeah, it just says, uh, the design was stitched with two strands of gentle arch floss over two threads. Um, and it talks about back stitching the words and, <clears throat> but yeah, there's no, there's no indication.